Now, when we was born in this world, nigga, we was missing a lot of information in our mind that the ancestors would have crossed over with. We were disconnected with the Akashic records. Whatever they do to babies in the hospital, it deletes a lot of spiritual history and past lifetime history. But it don't delete it all because even with all that, we still have deja vu. Now, deja vu is what scares them, just like in the movie The Matrix. Deja vu scared them. That's a glitch in The Matrix. We're not supposed to be remembering the fucking future. Do you hear what I'm saying? You can remember the past according to science, but you can't remember the future because according to science, it ain't happened yet. What if you find out the future already happened? What if you find out your whole life is a lie that they keep rewinding to the first beginning of the lie, like a skip on a CD? But at, right now they're going to fail because now you waking up and you saying, you saying to yourself, this shit boring. When this world become boring to us, they got to make something new. And the reason this world boring to us it's because we've been here so many times, man. They've been recycling our ass, harvesting our energy. The moment motherfuckers start saying, that baby been here before, them folks get scared as hell when you go to talking like that. We don't know that. They ain't scared because you worried about your people not having jobs or that you worry about the white man or the black man. No. When humans start talking about, man, what have we been here before? Hey, man, what deja vu? What you think deja vu is? That's what get them motherfuckers scared than a motherfucker. When we go to talking and having deep conversations about the spirit, our dreams, lucid dreaming, astral travel, deja vu, these folks start poom, they underarms start itching and shit. They get petrified. It lets them know, okay, we got to do something. They doing it now. They got to reset this shit. People, they've been, I believe without a shadow of a doubt, we done lived this life so many fucking times. That's why... The way I feel in my soul right now, I don't care about shit for real. It's almost like I don't even take this shit that serious for real. You find out that the people in this world that's really doing the best, they ain't as serious as you are, dude. And, and what I mean is they're passionate. But they ain't serious about their life, meaning these niggas will risk their life because of their passion. A nigga that's so passionate about the ocean, his passion will become more stronger. He will care more for his passion than his very life. He will risk his life to in indulge in his passion. So he would, try, he would try to explore the Marianas Trench. And he know it can lose his life, but he don't care about his life. He's more care about his passion. His passion led him into the Marianas Trench and, and said, fuck if I lose my life. Now, why am I telling you this? You need to understand to separate your passion for what you think your little measly life is. Because if you work in a job every day and you just a regular person, you're not living your life. You're living a plan that somebody else got for your life. Now, what I'm telling you about your passion is it'll make you start making risky choices saying, you know what? Fuck my life. What really do I got to lose? My boss talking shit every day. What if I did take my next 10 checks and invest it in a business? What if it fails? So I lost the money. So what? This kind of shit will make you gamble on yourself. And when you start doing that, it's a matter of time for you break free from your slavery. Because 
you will find yourself at a point of life where you ain't satisfied to where you say, what do I have to gamble? And you will start gambling big, scared money, don't win money. Now I'm gambling my life now. That's what I do every day. I wake up and gamble my life talking the way I'm talking. But when you make it to this point, that's when you're free. All right? I'd rather gamble my life than gamble something that I thought was my life, but it was really a planned out motherfucking script from a higher power and I never even activated my life. I spent my whole time on earth reacting and fulfilling the script of someone else. So if that's what you spent your life doing, you lived a lie and what, that's what causes reincarnation. Once you peel back so many lies, guess what you will find behind them? The naked ass truth. <laughs>